guys. I haven't actually talked in the vlog yet, but this is Tuesday. So I have been at school this morning. I sang in chapel, so I got here a little bit earlier than normal. Then I had lunch with a friend, had my first class. Then I started writing a paper. Didn't finish it, but started it. And now I'm sitting in my car and I have another class here soon. And it's actually really warm today. That's why my cheeks are so red right now. It's 80 degrees in April, which is kind of a little bit unheard of. A little bit abnormal, but that's okay. Especially because yesterday it was like 50s. <laughs> Very unpredictable weather is what we're having. So the remainder of my day includes my second class. Then I have some friends coming over tonight. They hang out with us once a week. But I also need to work for social media. I need to finish my paper if possible. It would be really great if I could. Working on a video, you know, posting content. So there's so many things that are going on today. Lots of things on the agenda and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm bringing you along with me. So let's go to class, finish up the school day, and then we can do the work stuff, I guess. <laughs> Are you taking pictures? No one I was taking a video, but... She's dancing! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Wednesday and last night I didn't really finish the vlog or explain but we had some friends come over and play a card game with us. I woke up this morning. I thought that our chapel group was canceled but I was wrong and it was too late for me to get ready so I didn't go and I've just been working on my work computer I have two different computers so that one's my work computer I've been working on there and just getting ready and I've literally just been sitting here staring at the wall for like a minute or two because I'm so physically tired like physically cannot get myself to do anything and I'm in my mind thinking of if I can skip anything else today but I, I know I can't so I just need to go. Today I have a class. I have counseling after and then I'm doing a photo shoot and I just need to get up and go. I'm going to do some makeup and leave unfortunately. So wish me luck. I know you're seeing this in the future but wish me luck that I can make it through. I want you to know I did indeed make it to class. And I deserve a reward for that because that was really hard. And I canceled the photo shoot, but right when I canceled it to hopefully alleviate some of this mental fog that I'm in, I got a text from my mom. We have to work on my grad announcements and getting those sent out. So that didn't really do anything. So a bummer. I guess I'm going to do that tonight instead. But let's go to class. After class, I got a little snack, got some nuggets, and a Coke from Chick-fil-A, hoping that it makes me feel better. It's not going to make me feel better, but I just wanted a snack, so I am about to go into counseling. Obviously, not going to vlog counseling. But I'll see you afterwards to tell you if it was good. Stuffing party. Yay! So exciting! <laughs> This is my favorite place to talk to you guys, I guess. But I wanted to share how the rest of my day went while I get ready for bed. So I had counseling, that's the last time I talked to you. And it was really good. We talked about suffering and weakness and how I just have never felt that I've been able to be weak. And it was a really good conversation. 
and just learning how to embrace weakness and not having to be perfect all the time. So then after that, I went home and I found my graduation announcements on my doorstep. So grabbed those and I went to my mom's house because my brother is also graduating high school. So she wanted to send out grad announcements to the same people in the same envelope, just to save on postage. So went over there, we stuffed envelopes and it took about two hours, a little bit longer than I expected, but we did that. Then I came home and because I did not want to address my responsibilities at all and I was just feeling tired of just being overworked, I told Alec to jump in the car and we went to get ice cream, went on a cool little sunset drive, that was fun, but then when I came back home, I started feeling overwhelmed again and I, with Alex's help, started to map out all of my assignments for the rest of the semester. So I'll put the pictures of it on the screen and I am just unwell about the amount of things that there is to do. Like this is insane and the rudest part about all of this is that I'm still expected to attend classes when there's this much work to be done. Like, I feel like that is super rude because obviously I could be spending that time working on the assignments instead of sitting there as they're trying to figure out what else to teach us for the last month. You know what I mean? So not feeling very happy about that. So that's where I'm at. I'm just feeling crippling, just the overwhelming feeling of the rest of the semester is crippling me. Like, it's where it's at that point where you're looking at it and it's just like so overwhelming that you're just crippled and you just can't even start on anything. That's where I'm at. So, hopefully tomorrow, now that I've mapped it all out with like the dates that they're due and stuff, I can start making some headway. But I'm not doing that right now. It is 10 at night. So I'm just going to read and go to bed. And hopefully we can get started on that ginormous list tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Because today I cried twice. So not the best. Not a good day. Good morning. It's Thursday and I was hoping today would be better. But it's not better. This may not be relatable to anybody else, but I constantly live with like allergy symptoms and I try to take medicine, but it doesn't help. So I have a sore throat, my nose is running, and I just feel horrible. And my stress eye twitches are back, which is making everything worse. So I went to Starbucks to get a tea and hopefully this will help me because I'm actually singing in chapel today. So good. This is the perfect time for me to do that. So I'm on my way to chapel now. said we need to go to Target and I said say less, say less. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> I haven't been a very good vlogger but since I last spoke to you yesterday all I did after class was do homework. Not exciting. Today we went to a coffee shop and we 
worked because I don't have class today since it's Good Friday. Then, what did we do after that? We came home. I, oh, actually, we went to Target. Then we came home. I FaceTimed a friend. Then worked for my social media job. Now, we're going to a singing and dancing show. One of the things I'm going to be doing while I'm there is filming, not the show, but like the before and after of the show for their social medias. And we're also supporting my coworker who is singing and dancing in the show. So exciting. It's their opening night and we grabbed some food to go and that's what's happening. How do you feel about this show? Better now that I have food. Okay, good. Just gotta be fed. Thank you. And the tea. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Spilled it on myself. What a crazy time. Last night we went to my friend's show. It was really good. She did amazing. It's our rest day, Saturday. So what we've done so far, we slept in and we got Starbucks for breakfast. Now 1240 and I'm planning on taking a bath. This is one of my favorite rest day rituals. So I'll show you what I bring to set up in there. <laughs> The bath is going. Here is what I bring for the bath. So I have a journal. Do some weekly journal prompts there. Self-help Christian book. So this is The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. It's about rest. You know I need that in my life. Then I have a for fun book. This is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Reading that right now. Then I have my Bible. That's kind of my lineup for books there. Then in the actual bathtub, I have my little phone stand. I put some bath salts in here. This is the one I used. It's from Target, I'm pretty sure. Then I got a towel, a robe, I got some water, and then I have my lighter and I light these candles that are right here. And that's kind of my setup for a bath time. I just finished reading a few chapters of Book Lovers and I ate some lunch, as you saw. Now I'm taking a shower, even though it is four in the afternoon, but that is how the rest days go. We do not live on a schedule on the rest days, so what I'm going to be doing in the shower is washing my hair, shaving. I may do a face mask afterwards and I do want to do my nails because they're just grown out and they don't have any color on them, but tomorrow's Easter, so I want to have a cute color. We're going to the grocery store because we wanted to make something for dinner but didn't have the stuff. This is why I don't bring him around. He keeps throwing random stuff in the cart. You got rice pudding. I'm tired of it. <laughs> We had a really good rest day, I would say. Even if we did have to go grocery shopping, we still made our favorite casserole, watched some TV, and now I'm just folding up some laundry because I want to wake up and start the new week not worrying about house stuff. I asked Alec if he would love me if I was a worm, and he said, no, that's stupid. <laughs> Am I supposed to justify myself? I'm confused. Yeah, you're supposed to explain your reasoning. <laughs> if I'm a worm, sure. <laughs> but if she's a worm and I'm a human, sorry. That's just everyone who answers the other way is just lying. <laughs> okay, then. Happy Easter. Here's my Easter outfit. I'm wearing this dress from Altered State. 
my shoes. I don't know where they're from actually. And then this Target purse. And now we're headed off to church. Turn this talk. Okay. <laughs> oh, watermelon. Watermelon.